Cosmo Bart on flight 16, bound for San Diego. Number two for departure, flight attendants, please be seated for takeoff. Mahalo.
which is coming up to Honolulu Harbor. And just inland from that, you might be able to make out a small crater. This is Punchbowl Crater. The Hawaiians refer to it as Pu Vaino, or Hill of Sacrifice. This is currently the site of the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific. The backdrop to all of this is the southern portion of the mountain range we call the Kukulau. This is one of two mountain ranges on a wall that sits along the southern and eastern or windward coast of the island. The other is the Waianae Range that sits along the western shoreline or the leeward coast. The Waianae Range is the shorter of the two, but it is home to the tallest peak on the island, Mount Kaala, rising 4,040 feet above sea level. And just past the downtown area, you might be able to see uh, the beginning of a stretch of beaches. The first is the Alawana Beach Park. That is followed by the Alawai Yacht Harbor and then the coastline of our most famous stretch of beach, that is Waikiki. And just after Waikiki is our most famous and photographed landmark, Mount Leahi, more commonly referred to as Diamond Head Crater. The tallest peak on this crater is 763 feet above sea level. It gets its nickname from the 19th century British sailors who found calcite crystals on the slopes and thought them to be diamonds. Once we pass Diamond Head, we'll be flying along the southeastern shore for just a few minutes. The uh, last two points in view for the island of Wall will be the Portlock Peninsula. Just behind it will be Cocoa Head Crater. Cocoa Head's last eruption was about 10,000 years ago. And once we leave Oahu, we'll be flying over the body of water that separates this island from the island of Molokai. This 26-mile stretch of water is called the Kaibi Channel, and it is recognized as one of the roughest bodies of water in the world especially during the winter months when swell heights can reach 30 feet. This is also part of the migratory route for the Pacific humpback whale. They come here from in and around the Aleutian Islands in Alaska, headed to their calving grounds just off the southern and western shorelines of the valley island of Maui. Those animals usually arrive towards the latter part of November and hang around for most of the winter, head back north in the late part of spring around April and early May. Last year's census of the animals had 17,000 individuals visiting the islands. And speaking of Mulukai, it'll be coming into view off the right side of the aircraft in about 8 to 10 minutes, as will the island of Lanai. These two